first of all, the Presidential CEO Forum is a private sector-led initiative that was uh, initiated by the head of state so that it can work directly with government or close with government so as to fast track the national development agenda. Then secondly, as Presidential CEO Forum, we do seek to identify the bottlenecks to economic growth and to work with government to systematically address these problems. And then thirdly, as Presidential CEO Forum, we intend to partner once again with government so as to see how best we can support to attain the Vision 2040 through effective implementation of the National Development Plan. Once again, the very reason why Presidential CEO Forum was initiated is because of the different gaps that had been notified or identified. And so there are key five gaps which have been identified and presented to government. These gaps that I'm yet to mention have always been mentioned by the head of state in several of his statements or speeches. But then from our side, we are reinforcing and emphasizing these gaps how best can they be taken into consideration and how can we partner with government to ensure that these gaps are actually addressed. So the first is cost of capital. We all know what it means uh, for the private sector when they do not have capital to inject into their businesses. There is no growth. Secondly is cost of electricity. The cost of electricity is not favorable at all and this government has really tried to address it. Then the transport cost. If we are moving goods from one place to another, what kind of transport is there for us as private sector to use? Then the skilled human resource, this is very, very fundamental. How best are we planning to address this issue? And then access to markets. As we all know, if we are pushing for value addition, if we are pushing for mass production, then where are we going to sell this produce? So yes, those are the five key gaps that we have identified and we plan to work directly with government to address them. Quite a number of factors that we are looking at by discussing with the different key stakeholders to ensure that we come up with these solutions. Number one is uh, to continuously advocate with government to see how they can increase funding for Uganda Development Bank. This is a bank that uh, the government of Uganda has been in position to inject money and this money is supporting the enterprises, local enterprises by the way, at a low cost interest. Then number two also, to support government initiative aimed at reducing the unit cost of electricity at US dollar five cent. As we all know that this is one of the key talking points that His Excellency has continued to mention, to have electricity at five cent and more so have direct access for manufacturers to receiving this uh, electricity. We have good examples. They've started up with a model of this five cent uh, electricity and direct electricity to manufacturers. It's being implemented at Kapeka Industrial Park as well as Buiko Industrial Park. So to us, to continuously push for this, it is something that will be of great uh, solution to the private sector growth. Then thirdly, also to advocate for the revamping of the railway and transport system to reduce logistical costs and the private sector partnership, that is the private and public partnerships, could make it more feasible. So with this platform, we look at how best can we attract investors who can come and help us put more infrastructure development in the railway and the water system so that we can reduce on the transport cost. Most of the support to fast track employer-led skills development system and mindset change. The mindset change, the recent COVID-19 um, effect where people have lost jobs, how best can we relate with government, uh, come up and address this issue of unemployment, but more so the unskilled labor. So these are things we will definitely continue to advocate for. And last but not least, as one of the key points of coming up with solutions, is supporting government in regional and global trade discussions. Uh, the Presidential CEO Forum, for instance, in the last uh, three months, we have been at the forefront of attending core forums. Uh, one of it is the Uganda UAE Exposition, that is the Expo 2020 in Dubai. 
where we've made presentations on what it is for us as private sector so that we can push for industrialization, push for joint ventures, push for uh, public-private partnerships, but more so speak at those sectors that private sector is well conversant with and where we can attract uh, potential investors to bring in foreign direct investment and improve on our competitiveness as well as uh, push for exports of our own products. So yes, those are the key five solutions that we'll be speaking to through the Presidential CEO Forum. Observations, of course, are plenty, but um, to talk to the task ahead for the Presidential CEO Forum is definitely a huge one. And so, however, Presidential CEO Forum board is made up of one, highly reputable business and public service leaders. So this is very fundamental for us. So who have, first of all, been able to be at the game for a long time, they know what it takes, to have policies implemented or what kind of policies affecting the private sector. Then the team also has the right mix of young and the middle level talent that are capable of driving the organization forward for the benefit of the entire country. So we think much as we have that huge task ahead of us, we are ready and we are looking forward to working with the corporate Uganda to achieve our agenda and mandate of recreating that linkage between private sector and government, but also being part of formulation of the policies that are required for private sector to grow and to thrive, but even more so to have them implemented and come out with one-offs that really bring an impact to this country. three things. Well, first and foremost, improving the coordination and collaboration between government. And those are the ministries and uh, departments and government agencies together with the private sector. That is core. Then secondly, amplifying the voice of the private sector in the budget making process and resource allocation. I'm very glad that um, recently received actually an, uh, a communication requesting us to contribute our input into the parish development model on how best we think it can be implemented or structured out. So yes, that voice to be amplified further is one of our key tasks that we would want to see being taken upon. Then thirdly, moving from the rhetoric to action. Rhetoric is just speaking, 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 but then having the action of ensuring that what is said is actually being implemented and done. So service delivery is one of our core and how do we do it is definitely being able to see how best can we promote corporate governance. This would help us to deal with binding constraints such as corruption. So those are the three key issues that we are planning to speak to. Strategically 10 years is a very good bracket for us to be in position to um, have our deliverables according to our KPIs. Our KPIs is actually quite a good list that is informed by the activities that we have developed. And so I would also want to use maybe the opportunity to explain that the Presidential CEO Forum 1 relates directly with the Office of the Prime Minister. So as the Prime Minister being the head of government, we do collaborate on a number of these planned activities to ensure that the deliverables are done. Then also thirdly, we relate directly with Minister of Finance and Minister of Trade and uh, cooperative. So looking at what in the next 10 years we should have been in position to achieve is our quick response is to the concerns of the private sector as one of our major priorities. So in the next 10 years the private sector should be able to expect lower costs of electricity, lower cost in terms of capital, we should be able to have transport that is improved and also have market access. So but more so have drastic reduction in corruption and have a strong economic development. So when we speak to the earlier mentioned uh, challenges or gaps and we have them sorted or spoken to or implemented or achieved in the next 10 years, that will be our greatest achievement and we believe we are going to do so. But why so? It's because, you know, when you have an injured finger that feels the pain, it is you personally that is in position to come out and say, 
I actually have the pain. So it's the private sector that is being affected. It's the private sector that feels the pain. So it's our time to be at the decision-making table so that we make our key uh, input and then thereafter government is able to have the way forward on how best they can partner with us to solve these uh, issues and achieve our agenda. And we're looking forward to partner with each and every person in the private sector, government and head of state as well as the regional partners. Mm -hmm.